Hi there, this is Kira Leslie with DebunkingAddictionForHealthyPlace.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about my experience with dating in recovery, uh, recovery from substance abuse. Well, it's always an issue for those of us in, in uh, alcoholism and drug addiction recovery. Um, when we're going to disclose, and if we're going to disclose to the person that we're dating, our situation. And um, for some people, they are dating folks that they meet in a 12-step room or even in an outpatient center, and um, this has its own complications. People have different opinions on whether it's a good idea or not, but one thing's for sure, and that is that they don't have to face that same sort of situation. Obviously, the other person knows what what your situation is and that you're and that you're in recovery but what if you are meeting people elsewhere um, I don't think that it's that you should feel obligated to disclose that information right away I mean of course honesty in relationships is good um, but at the very beginning it's not like something that the other person has a has a right and a need to know uh, it is a, a personal issue and um, but that being said I I'm pretty upfront about it for myself. I mean, clearly I'm, I'm doing this blog, so I'm not uh, really shy about the fact that I'm in, in alcohol recovery. Uh, but still, that doesn't mean that I shout it from the rooftops every chance that I get. And um, a lot of times I find, though, that it just it comes up in one way or another, or it's, or it's easier, you know, uh, to, to disclose that information. So... In dating, it's so common that people are meeting at bars or they, they want to meet for drinks or there's some situation with alcohol involved. Sometimes it's perfectly normal to, to go to an event where there's alcohol and not drink anything and then it's a, a situation where it doesn't even come up. Um, but sometimes it might seem a little bit unusual in which case the situation might, might come up and you might be more comfortable saying that you... Uh, that you don't drink at all. And, and of course, I'm, I'm not recommending that people go to events where there's alcohol. That's also a personal decision. But now, for me, uh, I was concerned a, a few years ago when I was trying to date about when should I bring this up. And I was doing uh, the online dating thing. And my friends who were in recovery were like, you know, I wouldn't bring it up on a first date. It's too much information. Um, but as as it turned out, um, on the first date, I... I, with the woman who is now my partner, I, um, I ended up telling her that I was in recovery from alcoholism, and it, it went amazingly well. She actually ended up telling me that she didn't drink either, and uh, that wasn't something that I had known, that wasn't something that was on her profile, and um, that was, I, I'm very glad that I did say something, because it was something that we bonded over right away. But, of course, that's not going to happen in every situation, but I know for me, I just had to feel out situations, and I've had to. You know, work is the same thing. When do you disclose? When do you not? There are some situations where I have, and there's a lot where I haven't, because I basically do what I feel is uh, the the ethical thing to do, the thing that's acting with integrity, and the thing that is um, is 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 good for me in any given situation, provided, of course, that it's also acting with integrity and ethical. So sometimes it's uh, easier and makes more sense not to bring it up, and sometimes it's easier and makes more sense to bring it up. So unfortunately, it's another one of those situations, or fortunately, where I don't think that there's a um, hard and fast rule, but I think that people need to, in regard to disclosure and dating, fill out each situation and, and, and ultimately end up doing what you feel comfortable with.